Hi guys, I'd like to thank my local dealer Forest Park and Garden in South Wales for lending me this equipment to test and review. I've put links to Forest Park and Garden's website and for the products used in this video down below. Please like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I really appreciate your support. Let's get into the video. So where should we start first? Let's have a look at the Escalana then. This one I've got to be undone with a screwdriver. It's like a safety thing here. Let me get a screwdriver and take it out. There's a huge variety of saws out there. Like I said, this is just a, a selection I was given just to try out. One review. So undo this, undo the screw by here. There's like a tab that locks it together. Locks it in there. We'll take that out and have a look at the Escalana. So 300 all pull saws work on a backward stroke, half tang, so that just attaches there. Like I said, no problem with that. Is that aluminium? That's, that's quite a nice feel on that, I've got to be honest. I don't know the actual thickness of the blade, we can, we can measure it. Let's get them all out and have a look. So that's the Escalana. Straight blade. Let's have a look at this Trojan. i got to cut it open on this one. Cut the, the cable ties. It's the first time for me to see the blade. So it's a curved one. Got a bit of resistance here so it kicks in. So that's tidy. Oh, it's got a cover on there, like a little sheath, two pieces. Quite big teeth on there, mine. You see that? Cutting edge. Cutting edge UK. I tell you what, they look aggressive, them teeth do. That looks alright. So that's half tank in, just into the handle there. That's alright. That looks okay. For the same thickness as that one. I'll just go back in there. Alright, that's pretty secure. That's a great belt strap there. You can put a carabiner on in there if you're using a climbing. So that's alright. This one got a belt strap as well, the Escalana. But there's nothing to really hold that in. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's a proper climbing one or whatever. But it would go on your belt. Let's have a look at the Darlac. Dalak's a straight one, same as the Escrana. Very short, very narrow blade there. Only a small tang, that'd be into there. It's not a full tang. Quite a thin blade. I'd say a bit thinner than the Trojan. We will measure them on a smaller blade, a smaller tooth. But quite a big tooth that have. We'll measure all the compact. I said it's now the end. But that's alright. I bet it might actually cut good. Good anvil, nice anvil. I've got to mention on the Trojan. Nice anvil. Good curve on that one. If you want me to hold it to pull it back. It does lock a little bit. Not too secure in there. Okay. The belt hook there and a little. I for a small carabiner if we didn't want to go climbing with it. And now we got the silky. Let's have a look. I don't know how to spell it, how to pronounce it really. Obviously made in Japan. Nice rubber belt loop there. And a nice size, quite biggish size for the carabiner there. Let's take this guard off then. Nice big teeth, I'll be honest. That looks nice. Straight blade, full tang, so the blade comes all the way into the handle. So I like that, to be honest. You can change the handles off there. They all got the handles which come off. Yep, yeah, they all got handles which would change the blades. But I like that, got a nice feel to it. Quite rigid. I'd say that's the thickest one, straight away just on the wobble. So 
you get the prices you'll see the difference then it's got a nice positive action the way it clicks in there so you're not going to fall out I'll take that off there put it back on after so that's not going to come out of there like I said there's a good variety on the on the website so like I said I'll put a link below so let's have a look at these folding saws only the same we just chuck them in just to give a bit of a view review on them and uh, if someone's looking to pick them up so that's the one the Dalak quite a positive action mind the way that locks that's quite a tight looking thing cutting edge of gardening so more of a gardening um, brand I'd say these are but well, it's more of a gardening so these are so press that and that's all release it take your fingers out the way does it and it locks in as well which is good so press that so it's got a positive action to lock in for safety well, I like that you'll be honest that's good Quite a strong little blade. Was it a six inch blade, you say? It says max cut 90, 90 millimeter. So was that? Just under four inch? Or seven? Actually over. So it was over a seven inch blade. So that's alright. Put that there. Now this little micro one. Let's look at this one. And this one, maximum cut is two inch, 50 millimeter. Don't actually lock. Very plasticky, mind. That's plastic, but quite an odd feel to it. But uh, no, it's a nice little thing. To be honest, that's got a little plate on it. Um, was it three and a half inch? Three and a half inch plate. Like I said, we'll just try them out. A little bit chintzy on the back, eh? But um, for the price, can't really go wrong. Just handy thing. If you're doing a bit of pruning in the garden on this style, I uh, say it'd be okay. This is the Trojan. I gotta be honest, the teeth are very similar. They all. This is the biggest tooth. This and the silky. I'd say seven mil deep the teeth. This is the silky. But they're very similar teeth. First one, I'll roughly round them off to the to the pound. Seven pound. I think that's obvious. That's a little folding Dalak. Still handy little saw, seven pound. Next we have twelve pound. What's that gonna be? Well that is the Dalak that one there. That and pruning saw there. Like I said, it's the thinnest one, the smallest teeth. So I should imagine it'd been something like that. Then we have thirteen pound rounded off to, which is the Dalak folding saw. So that's thirteen pound. I tell you what, that feels quite a good, good chunk of plastic there. It's, that doesn't feel cheap and nasty and chinksy. That does feel a bit, bit naughty. But yet it could be alright. That might hold up alright, like. So the Dalaks are the cheapest out of the out of these. What are we up to? We're up to thirteen pound. So next we have twenty pound. What do you think that one's gonna be? Is these three here? Because they, they're gone now. They're the cheapest. So these are the next three. So the next one is twenty pound. What's that gonna be? The twenty pound one. Ask Varna. I think that's a bargain. Twenty pound. HVA three hundred ST. So that's twenty pound. So I think that's a bargain. I gotta be honest. That's a nice looking saw for twenty quid. So that's twenty pound. So these are the the IS two out of the range, out of this uh, review. The next one is thirty pound. Pretty obvious, isn't it? So that's the Trojan, the cutting edge Trojan. 
Right, cutting edge UK, or cutting edge soldier on 300. It does feel quite a tidy bit of kit, I've got to be honest. So that's £30. And then the last one then, which everyone would have realised that, this is £45. It's the Silky Gomtaro 300, made in Japan. Nice bit of kit, I'll be honest. Without trying them yet, £20. Now that's, a, that's to me, that just seems a bargain. It's got the Esquana name, it's got a nice feel to it. I'm sure that's aluminium, but eh? Well there we are, that's a bit of a review. We'll try them out now, see how they cut. And uh, we come back in and do a bit of a conclusion on them. Let's try this method. We go full pulls and I count them to see how many goes through, to see how many pulls it takes to go through. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seventeen with the Asquana. Let's try the Trojan. I've just been through it once already. That's why the... One. One. Eight. Nine. Ten. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. So that actually went through a... One pull less. So Trojan was faster. Cutting it. Than the Asquana. Less work. We'll try now the Dalak. This is going to be slower. It's got smaller teeth. One, two, three, five, six. Seventeen again. Same as the Esquana. I tell you what, that was impressive, that was. For a really cheap, I think it was 12, 13 pound. That was super impressive. Right, let's try the dearest one now. The silky. So our 17, 17 and 16 for full jump. Let's see what this boy does it in. See what this bad boy does it in. I thought it'd be on par with the Trojan in the very beginning because the teeth are pretty much smack on. But that's a straight blade compared to the curved blade. The Esquana is a straight blade. Try it again because these are the, against these two, I'd say, are the winners. Alright? Go again. That was close to 15 that time. Totally beat to the end, didn't I? That's the silky. That flew through it. Once more, and I'd say that's the winner then. Fourteen. Each time's getting less. Nothing much in there between the two. was eight. We'll start again. Thirteen again. So there we are. Out of the big saws. Definite. I'll try the Esquan again. But out of them two there, the winner is the Silky. As a DLS one, you would expect that. Yeah, 
16. Can't compete. Let's try that little foldy saw. The Dalak. It's in a small blade, but we'll try it. Tell you what, that's impressive. For a lot little blade, that flew through it all right. Gotta be honest, I didn't expect that. Right? What a good little saw. The thing is, where this would go nice and small. I mean, plastic's not brilliant, mind I'll be honest. It's very cheapy plastic to wear, but still, tidy enough thing. This little one cut three inch, very much doubt there. No, it would do it, but I think that's pointless. You won't even try it with something that size. We'll put a smaller one in for this now, a two inch. Look at that, it flies through it. Absolutely comical that was. Didn't expect that. That's impressive. Well there we are guys, that wasn't too scientific. I just counted the amount of pulls. I was trying to be as consistent as I could be with the pressure on each pull and that's the order they're in. Let's go through them once more quickly then. That's an handy little saw. I got yellow on my hands off the die off my gloves. So that's an handy little saw. I gotta be honest that was quite deceiving. It was seven pound. That's handy for someone in the garden. I gotta be honest. Keep it in a pocket if they prune in stuff, cutting stuff back. So yeah is it worth it? Well seven pound yeah. Definitely. £13. Obviously it can't compete with the bigger boys. But it was still a, an handy thing, I've got to be honest. So that was alright, no problems at all with it. This is just a review of some of the cheaper saws. Just grabbed them off the, the shelf in my local dealer. It didn't quite match them. It wasn't far behind really. I was saying it was only £12. It was quite impressive. So for £12, that would pretty much maybe two or three more pulls cut the same as them them three so for 12 pound that is a bargain so we're looking for a sofa in the garden i recommend that a dalak definitely that's all right not a bad saw at all so that comes in fourth in the normal hand saws in third place then which i was quite i thought would come higher than this to be honest though was the Asquana. Don't ask why, but it just didn't cut as fast. It had extra pulls to it. Like only one or two extra pulls, but it was still extra pull compared to the other two. So, still a nice saw. In one sense, for £20, it could be the winner, the actually price for the saw that will last and all that. Got a thick blade. Nice handle. It's really well made by you. Aluminium by there as well. So I like that. Most probably I'll get one there myself. That's a, um, a cracking saw. Even like I said, it was behind on them two. Only two pulls, if that, behind. One far away at all. And they haven't got the best, like, scarboard, like, cover, to be honest with you. Could do with a better one, like, up towards the silky style would have been better. But then again, for £20, that's a lot of saw for £20. So, in one sense, it's third place. In another sense, it could be the winner of actual price for £20. What a saw for £20. So third place. Second place, this is very hard because there was nothing really in these on the cutting as you'd saw it, as you would have seen in the video. I know one's curved and one's straight. I don't exactly know the difference what would that, uh, what that gains by having a curved blade. I feel at the end it's cutting a bit harder than a, than a straight one. I don't know the actual physics in there, but 
you can come out of the cut maybe easier with a straight one than a curved one because I didn't come out of the cut at all with a curved one but it's popping out now and then with the others so second place like I said there's nothing really in here at all was the cutting edge Trojan on the actual cuts we're talking and that was £30 so this is £30 quite a nice uh, saw I've got to be honest definitely got a plastic fantastic look to the cover that's the only thing that I'd say last way is in second place but it cut cut well and first place which I think a lot of people would have just jumped to the conclusion from the very beginning is the silky if anything it was after one pulls cutting it faster all the time than the Trojan nothing much in it at all but lovely quality feel in everything in the handle it's full tang as well so it's 45 pound it's 15 pound more but then you've got hell of a better quality uh, scabbard or cover which got a that comes off there so you can take that off so you can leave your, your belt to loop on or your carabiner at all eh? but it's just quality i gotta be honest so the silky is the winner but that's 15 pound more is it worth 15 pound more than the trojan don't get me wrong the trojan cut well i gotta be honest that's only half tang it's still cut the same pretty much on on par with that there but i still have to go for the the silky half tang the cover is nowhere near up to the cover of the the silky so there we have it 15 pound different i'd say yeah uh, pay the extra 15 pound and buy the silky that's my honest opinion you might think well you're saving 15 pound and it's pretty much cutting the same job but only time will tell if that would last up to the silky i honestly feel that this is just a superior bit of kit like like I said, there's so many brands out there. There's loads and loads of different brands in hand saws, um, in pruning saws. So, like I said, we can't satisfy everyone. But this is just a, a quick handful off the shelf um, of the cheaper budget side of the saws. But if, if, if you want, write in the comments below if you want to see me do another um, comparison between the, the more expensive side of like the Zubats and all that, Silky Zubat and any competitors like that. But this would just be the budget side of the saws. Come on with any of the, these saws, they would do the job we're going to do. Like I said, £20, realistically, that's £45, that's £20. You could buy two of them and have £5 change. So you've got to look at it in different ways. That's £15 less than that. So you could have like that's 12 pound you could have a few of them for that price but i still like this silky i don't know what it is well i do know what it is, it's the quality just feel all the effort has gone into it to make a real quality professional bit of kit like made in japan but still don't get me wrong i like that i still like the asgrana most probably i'll buy that as well and uh, well, there we have it. I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Plenty more like this to follow. Thanks for watching. Cheers.